What's up guys, Sean Weber, Weber Power Washing. Um, we're about to nerd out today on some pressure washing uh, science. We're gonna do a flow test. If, if you're not interested in this, I completely understand, but I'm an absolute nerd when it comes to this stuff and I feel like I've had these questions and I'm just trying to answer some questions for myself and, and for you guys. So if you'd like to follow along, follow along. Please like, subscribe, hit that, hit that button so you know when my videos are coming out. I'm, gonna try to be consistent and um yeah thanks thanks for checking me out what's up guys sean weber weber power washing here in putnam connecticut no, i'm playing um guys today i'm gonna be doing a test a flow test of this 4 gpm pressure pro belt driven pressure washer um i have never done a pressure uh flow test yet for this thing and i'm very anxious to see uh, this whole this whole thing started because I, I downstream inject so I use a you can't see it's a 2.1 yeah it's a 2.1 liter downstream injector and so I pull chemical through that oh, I can't put it on right now I pull chemical through that and I'll also have a bucket there that I dip into water if I want to rinse, and then I put it back into chemical. I keep my chemical buckets over there. So it's kind of like how I, it's like my little redneck flow pro system. And instead of having a electronic beeper, I use my feet to go walk and do it. But uh, yeah, but I've been doing more research and I realized that this downstream injector can, severely limit your flow on the rinse but I want to see how much because look see see that tiny little hole there so you're sucking water through there um, and yeah you're limiting the flow so the test today is going to be to see the difference between a straight up 4 GPM plumb directly into the system we'll see what that flows and then we're gonna use the, the, the injector in a bucket of water, and we're gonna see the difference, if there is a difference. Because I'm interested in pur purchasing a downstream injector bypass, not the Flow Pro electronic system. I would just get one of those, it's like a U. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of the really professional guys using it, and I'm very interested because it's only like 160, 170 bucks. So let's get into, let's get into this test. All right, I got my 15 gallon bucket. It's marked, okay. It's marked at three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, you guys can read. All right, we will crank this up. Pull the slack out. M5 twist. M5 twist. X jet. I wonder if that injector right there affects anything. I guess we'll find out. All right. Right now, it's directly plumb. All right. We're gonna start on 10 seconds. Nine, four, three. All right, we'll try that again. We'll start at 10 seconds. I'm gonna straddle this thing. Seven, six. All right, and we're off.
settle. All right, we're gonna let that settle. And then I'm gonna mark it. Okay. Okay. Cool. This is some good data. All right, it looks like it's pretty much between the three and the six. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. So it almost looks like, yep, that's about right. We're gonna mark that. Exactly. Does that look about right for you guys? Looks good to me. And we'll write, we'll write zero next to it to signify zero restrictions. Okay. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We're gonna also test the weight. The weight of it, all right. This wants to work. All right, zeroed out. I have to kind of move it. So ready, 42.6. Okay, we just tested it straight plumbed to the four GPM machine. Now we are going to be testing the 2.1 uh, downstream injector. We're gonna be plopping that in said bucket of water. This is how I do rinse. So this is how I've been rinsing. So we're gonna see if I'm losing a bunch of flow, and I'm actually very anxious to see. So we'll crank this up. One crank, everybody knows the rules. Pull the slack out, and then. Got this. Jet M5 twist. Let's do it. Put this in here. Okay. There we go. And we'll start it at ten seconds. of truth we're going to be give that time to settle and then we're going to be weighing it who else is doing this man all right wait a minute wait a minute um okay guys i don't know about you but that looks like the same exact amount of flow through the downstream injector which is not what we had hypothesized. All right, let's 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 weigh this thing. Okay, how is that possible? How? What is going on? That's absolutely crazy. Um, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. If anybody else has any information, let me know. But it, it seems that I actually got more flow using the downstream injector. I don't understand, but the downstream injector in a bucket of water. I'm kind of flabbergasted. I'm glad that we did this because, and again, if, if you guys, this is completely nerding out, but you know, there's so many myths in the pressure washing business and people saying all different types of things. 
but everyone kind of is in agreement that you should do your own flow test. You should get your own information. But, you know, everybody has the eight GPMs and the 10 GPMs and the 12, and no one's really doing it for the four GPMs. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is crazy. Let's, let's go ahead and mark this. This is the downstream injector inside, I mean, in a, in a water bucket. And that is legit, oh my God, that's crazy. It's almost like a little bit more. I almost want to call it more. That's crazy. We'll call this downstream. D. Okay. DS. That makes sense for you guys. Okay. All right, guys. The final test is going to mimic the downstream injector attached in line, but taken out of the water bucket. So it. it this is to. This is to test if you're essentially dropping your dipstick in the chemical, and then when you rinse, you just pull it out. We'll see if that loses any flow. So just to reiterate, this test will be sucking just dry, dry air. All right, let's try it. Clip it on. Pull the slack out. Just to reiterate, that was the 2.1 downstream injector sucking air to see how that affects it. We got that puppy e uh, evening out now. All right. Let's just relieve this pressure. Okay. It looks like we finally have some discrepancy. It looks like you are losing a tad bit of flow when you are pulling the downstream injector and it's just sucking air. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. This is what I'm looking at here. Oh, God. Okay. So, we'll call this air. A. And this is D, S. Okay. So, just to reiterate, this is just full flow with no downstream injector. That's our control. This would be the downstream injector in a bucket of water. And here is gonna be just downstream injector sucking air. Okay, now let's weigh, let's weigh this one. All right, 41.8, there you go. There you go, 41.8. All right, guys, so that is the experiment. Um, I'm gonna go back and look at the data, but it looks like this stuff is, is completely negligible. It looks like I'm not going to be getting a downstream bypass because I think the flow speaks for itself. Um, I am running a buffer tank, 125 gallon buffer tank for this test. It was filled up to around 50 gallons. I'm running 150 foot of pressure hose and I completely unwinded it all the way out. Um, I'm using a, a, a just a gun with the M5 X jet twist. I don't know guys. If, that's kind of all she wrote. I'm surprised. I thought I was going to be buying the next best thing that I saw on YouTube, but it looks like I'm not going to be buying it. It looks like, it looks like this conclusion is going to be that as long as you take this downstream injector and you pop it in a bucket of water, you're going to be, if not gaining a tad, tad bit of flow, um, which is unbelievable. I mean, again, I only, I only did it for a minute. So, you know, you'd probably have to do it for like 20 minutes straight and then divide it by 20 to get a more accurate. 
but you know this is this is pretty good i i was suspecting that it would be something like four gpms with this with it straight plumbed and then i was i was i was expecting like three and a half gallons with the um downstream injector attached but wow we we definitely learned something here um hopefully this video is helpful i mean i definitely answered a question for myself if you guys have any other questions uh, hit me up and let me know and i really appreciate you guys